I'm Joe Catalano with an AM Quincy news update for Tuesday, April 14th. Quincy is now seeing at least 25 new cases of coronavirus every day. Health Commissioner Ruth Jones says there are at least 357 confirmed cases of the virus in Quincy. There have been 14 deaths and 109 people have recovered. Jones says the surge in cases that was predicted is now happening. She urges people to continue the social distancing guidelines and hand sanitizing efforts. Jones says it's best not to go out, but if you have to, to wear a face covering to protect others around you. She says a mask will not prevent you from becoming infected. Only social distancing of at least six feet is the most effective way to keep from getting sick. Quincy nursing homes are seeing large numbers of coronavirus cases, especially Quincy Rehabilitation and Nursing on McGrath Highway. The State Department of Public Health is managing the crisis there. There is a no visitation order in effect for Quincy Housing Authority properties where multiple cases of the virus have been reported. No visitors are being allowed at other congregate housing and any senior living facility in Quincy. Yesterday's wild winds and heavy downpours are being blamed for sparking a one-alarm house fire in Quincy. Officials say a tree limb took down some power lines to a multifamily home at 173 Fenno Street at about 2 p.m., causing the electrical panels in the basement to short-circuit, burning some floor joists. Deputy Chief Gary Smith says firefighters managed to douse the blaze before any major damage was done. However, the power was cut off and the home is unlivable. There were no injuries. Firefighters were kept busy throughout the storm, responding to down power lines, along with multiple scattered power outages. A truck rolled over on the expressway at about 6 p.m. However, no one was hurt. Quincy School Superintendent Rick DeCristofaro will meet with the Quincy College Board of Governors this week to come to terms on a contract to become the next college president. The board voted unanimously to appoint DeCristofaro to the position when interim president Daniel Esquino steps down on June 13th. DeCristofaro will retire from the Quincy Public Schools after over 40 years of service, the last 19 as superintendent. He says he leaves with mixed emotions, but still has a lot of work to do to end this, quote, unique school year. Meantime, grab-and-go meals are continuing to be offered at both high schools as well as the Snug Harbor, Lincoln Hancock, Montclair, Clifford Marshall, Parker, and Atherton Howe schools. The meals and learning enrichment packets are available from 11 a.m. to noon every weekday for everyone. So far, over 12,000 meals and packets have been distributed. Father Bills and Mainspring Homeless Shelter Director John Yaswinski is expressing his gratitude for the outpouring of support from the community during the coronavirus pandemic. Yaswinski says people have been donating food, cleaning supplies, toiletries, and household staples that are vital to the clients at the shelters in Quincy and Brockton. He also says donations of gift cards to grocery stores and pharmacies would be especially helpful. Interfaith Social Services of Quincy Director Rick Doan says they can use more disposable face masks to distribute to their food pantry volunteers. Masks can be dropped off at their Adams Street headquarters during regular business hours. I'm Joe Catalano with an AM Quincy News Update for Tuesday, April 14th.